Hey guys, welcome back. So today we got like a crazy easy build for you. I've been doing a lot of research looking at different clamping systems and bar clamps and parallel clamps and all kinds of crazy clamps for just researching some stuff and I have some ideas that I want to implement. Now, in all my looking around, I must have watched three or 400 videos and I didn't see a single example of this next bar clamp, which really surprised me because this idea is like 200 years old. They're super easy to make. Um, let's make some. First thing we need is some woods. Okay, for this clamp project, you're gonna want, um, so I'm using hardwood for this. Uh, oh, a yellow, yellow pine would work. I wouldn't use soft pine for this. And um, this dowel is a little bit bigger than it needs to be, but it's what I have in my shop, so I'm using it. So, piece of hardwood, dowel, and bolt. And bolt's actually optional, and we'll talk about that as we get into the build. First thing I wanna do is find center. Just mark a line down the center. Now I'm gonna come in, I don't know. I'm gonna come in from the end, say inch and a half, inch and three quarter. And then I'm gonna come down, oh, however far I want. I don't think I'll ever do a glue up much less, much less than the seven, eight inches that is. And then I'm gonna mark, oh, I'm gonna mark out every, well, that's a big dowel, so let's do every inch and three quarters. I'm gonna go ahead and just mark each mark just to make it a little bit easier to find. And over to the drill press. Gonna clean up my edges real quick with the chop saw. Gonna split this in half with the table saw. Now I do want to mention that you can drill these out by hand and the dowel does can be quite a bit smaller than this. So you just want to make sure that if you do drill it out by hand that you keep your two pieces matching and I'll talk about that in a minute. That looks like it's close to half. Cut a couple pieces of dowel. Oh, let's go about that one. Now you don't need to do this, but you can if you want to. Off camera, I drilled a 5 16 inch hole. Chamfer that a little bit. And I'm gonna run a 3 8 bolt through that. It'll cut its own threads for this application. So that's it. Now I'm just gonna throw in some material. We'll give this thing a test run. <laughs> that is awesome. That's holding really well. So I know some of you are thinking that's a parallel clamp and it's not. This is a bar clamp in, until you do this. Now it's a parallel clamp. Sort of. 
Now, as promised, let me show you how you don't need this. Pop that out, pop this one in. And I'm pretty sure some of you have guessed it. Just throw a wedge in there. <laughs> that one impresses me how much holding power you can get with a wedge. So there you have it, easiest bar clamp slash parallel clamp, whatever you guys want to call it, there is. I mean, it doesn't really get much easier. You can make these by hand for sure. If you end up using a hand drill, um, you don't, don't worry about it if they're not absolutely perfect. Just make sure that the two are lined up. So one's top and bottom, they're always lined up. So keep them together. That way if the holes are a little bit, you know, cattywampus, the dowel will still go through top and bottom, no problem. And that is, that's really gonna be okay for this type of setup. If you get it a little off angle this way and it starts to create pressure on one side or the other, you can just bolt these together or clamping pressure together and it, and it flattens everything out. So um, my favorite thing is the wedge, of course. Obviously these holes are bigger than they need to be. These could even go down to five eighths, three quarter of an inch. The, right now they're, uh, they're an inch which is way bigger than they need to be. Um, unless maybe you, if you're using a threaded rod in it, you would want it to be a little bigger. But if you're just using a wedge, which I my preferred method is just having the wedge there, uh, they could be quite a bit smaller. So there you go, super simple, crazy easy to make. They've been using these for hundreds of years, well, 150 years anyway. <laughs> Um, I hope you enjoyed this build. As always, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe and don't forget to hit that little bell notification next to the subscribe icon so you actually get to see my content. Lots more fun, crazy builds coming up. I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, share it around. If you know somebody that could use some real simple clamps, show it to them. It's much appreciated. Give it a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know what you thought of this. If you'd like to see more small tips and tricks like this, let me know because these are easy, visit because these are easy videos to make. I'm happy to make them. So um, I always forget about stuff like this after you've been doing this for 30 plus, oh, a long time. Stuff like this kind of just, you forget about it after a while. So I'm happy to share this stuff if you like it. Talk to you guys later.